This is your stimulus package update for Thursday, February 11th. On the third stimulus check for $1,400, new child tax credit amounts, and more. More information is being released this week on the $1,400 stimulus checks, for you will receive $1,400 for every qualified dependent. Qualified dependents include children, adult dependents, and college students. Income limits remain unchanged at $75,000 for individuals, $122,500 for the head of household, and $150,000 for couples. One major update is the stimulus check eligibility will be based on your 2020 tax returns. However, suppose you don't send in your 2020 tax returns on time. In this case, the IRS will automatically default to your 2019 tax returns. If your income was too high in 2019 to qualify, but you will be eligible based on your 2020 tax returns, you should file as soon as possible. That way you don't have to claim your stimulus check amount on your tax returns a year from now. If your income went up in 2020 to a point where you will be disqualified to receive the $1,400 check, you should consider filing later. Like with the first stimulus check and the second stimulus check, the phase out will begin after the set income limits. Here, again, it's 75,000 for individuals, 112,500 for the head of household, and 150,000 for couples. If you make above those limits in your category, the check amount you get will scale down evenly until we reach these thresholds here, 100,000 for individuals, 150,000 for the head of household, and 200,000 for couples. So if you make above those amounts, you will get $0 for stimulus. If you make a number between the quantities in your category, for example, between $75,000 and $100,000 for individuals, you will get anywhere from $1,400 to zero, depending on your income. The IRS is planning to send out checks for child tax credits. Let me explain. This is where it can get a little confusing. This is not related directly to the $1,400 stimulus check. Typically, there is a child tax credit of $2,000 per child. But now, if this passes, there will be a $3,000 credit for children ages 6 through 17 and a $3,600 credit for children under 6 years old. It's important to note that these child tax credit benefits will phase out at the same thresholds as the $1,400 stimulus checks. 75K for individuals, 112,500 for the head of household, and 150,000 for couples. The IRS plans to give you this money not when you file taxes, but instead to divide the amount you receive by 12 and to send you a check every month starting in July. This means for children ages 6 through 17, you'd get a check for $250 per month. That's 3,000 per month divided by 12, $250 per month. You get a $300 check per month for children under the age of 6. 3,600 divided by 12 is 300. Also, there is a child care or dependent tax credit. This is separate from the child tax credits I just discussed. It's $4,000 for one child, $8,000 for two or more children. But you must have at least $8,000 in child care expenses to get the $4,000 tax credit and $16,000 in child care expenses to get the $8,000 tax credit. On top of that, a $400 unemployment boost may get extended through the end of September. There are many amendments taking place between the Republicans and Democrats. It doesn't make sense to go through all of the amendments right now because they are still being negotiated. All of the Democrats in the Senate need to vote yes in order for the stimulus bill to pass. I hope you find these updates helpful. Make sure you drop a like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.